Hello! What are the five ingredients that make physical therapy more effective? Learn in this video the five characteristics that a physiotherapy uh, program must have in order to be accurate, successful, determined and unique and even more, to have the best results. You should watch this video before planning your next, next uh, physical therapy so that you have a complete idea of the whole procedure and be ready uh, for the most effective uh, physiotherapy. This video is for any physiotherapy program uh, for any age or disability. So, if you want to know how a physiotherapy program uh, becomes more effective, I firmly believe that this would help you a lot. So, let's start! Number one, a detailed medical history makes the difference. If you want to design a specific, accurate, specialized and error-free treatment plan, do not skip the medical record and keep in mind that it must be detailed. In this way, we avoid mistakes and prevent problems that could arise due uh, to the lack of knowledge of uh, our patient's history. Uh, for example, in the application of infrared uh, to a patient with metal uh, parts in his joints, as we all know, uh, this is prohibited. A detailed medical history of the patient also informs us uh, his needs and prospects and we should respect them. We must keep in mind that um, our treatment uh, must meet uh, his uh, needs in his daily activities. That way we can help him get on with his life. Number two, what is the main problem? As a therapist, I always uh, try to find out what is the main goal in any pa patient that I treat, regardless if it has to be an uh, adult, an infant, a child. In case I identify the main problem for the specific treatment of any deficit that my patient is facing, my treatment plan becomes more accurate and specific. I need to find out what the predominant problem in this disability is, from how the body processes uh, the stimulus and how it reacts to it each time, in order to focus uh, on facilitating this movement pattern that gives uh, the better organization of the patient's specific movement. With this approach, I set my goals short term and long term. In addition, something important that everyone should uh, remember is that as therapists uh, we are uh, with our patients on the same uh, path of recovery. It is important uh, to know what our patients' goals are uh, in order to guide them uh, to on the right path to achieving them. Uh, but there is always um, the possibility that their goals are far from uh, achievable and they should uh, be aware of it. Otherwise, it might cause uh, frustrations or upset if they do not improve. Number three, reassesses in each session, each time. Why do we need that? The physiotherapy program should be different in each session. The patient should make different facilitations in each session. This way, the recovery process uh, could be more efficient. You might wonder, I'll explain. Think that in our daily activities of life, we adapt to every challenge we face. We are ready, as normal people, every time uh, to complete the challenge we face every second and to have the best results of our effort. How can we do that? With automatic kinetic adaptations to the challenges of the environment. In each session, we reevaluate the function. Thus, in each treatment, the reevaluation gives us and the patient the aspects of his body. As therapists, also every time we need to be alert for all the changes that are happening. To, uh, so, to give the best prospects uh, with different facilitations. 
There are no sessions that are the same as the previous ones. Therefore, patients are not in the same condition as previous sessions. So, for the effectiveness and accuracy uh, in the treatment program, remember that a program based on uh, re-evaluations re in each uh, session, each time, allows the treatment process to be made with different facilitations in each treatment program and this is what is needed most. Number four, the best treatment is based on the normal development. This is huge. Normal growth gives us a lot of information about uh, how the body develops and responds to daily challenges. Normal function uh, is uh, based on the way that the, our brain develops and matures uh, from birth until this time. In any case of disability, trauma, neurological or orthopedic problem, but also at any age uh, that might our patient is, uh, the information of how the body reacts is based on these early years of the development process. The main uh, procedure of clinical reasoning for an effective treatment program should be based on normal development. By following this uh, clinical reasoning, the developmental process, in the rehabilitation program, the body is able to respond and adapt to every challenge of life. If we don't think uh, what is happening in the normal developmental process, the physiotherapy program may deviate from the right path uh, of recovery and we may not be able to get the best possible uh, result uh, from the therapeutic uh, intervention for, for our uh, patient. Also remember that the treatment plan must be specific, accurate, effective and unique to each patient we treat. Thus, it gives the maximum and best results uh, of the patient's effort and leads only to the success of his well-being. Number five, facilitate movement and function. I need to tell you that this is my favorite. What I mean by this? I mean the treatment program should focus on facilitating movement and function instead of doing motor exercises. Keep in mind that our brain learns and records uh, normal movement only through active motor patterns. So, if you want to have the best possible treatment in each session, uh, it should be noted that uh, the therapeutic intervention should facilitate the operation and movement of patients, not just be only full of exercises. Can you see the difference? Well. This is the point that I want you to focus on. First, we need to know that our brain learns more uh, if we are present and involved in every second of our therapeutic intervention. Second, we learn about the needs of our body in every second of treatment if we participate in our intervention in order to self-assess uh, our mobility and functioning. Third, we gain knowledge through physical rehabilitation about how our body can and should move and it also uh, implies the ability to understand when our body uh, is not moving properly. Take as an example, if you are disabled, okay, and you only do exercises in your treatment uh, program, you'll probably react like in the gym, not like in the treatment session. Then. As a patient, you may not uh, recognize and understand uh, what you need to uh, change, to check, to correct in your daily activities. Finally, if the treatment facilitates motor behavior instead of giving uh, the patient exercises, the results will be faster and your treatment uh, plan be accurate and specific if it had what I just suggested you do. This way, the therapeutic program leads to a huge improvement uh, and the functioning in daily activities uh, will be more dynamic and adjustable. Therefore, I firmly believe 
that this makes a huge difference uh, in the uh, therapeutic uh, program and in a therapeutic intervention regardless of age or deficit. Well, that's what I wanted to share with you in this video. I hope you find them useful and I want you to tell me in the comments below what is your most important uh, element uh, to upgrade your physiotherapy program uh, to uh, the most effective. Each of you has his own uh, unique ideas and his own uh, way to get the best result. In my videos, uh, I always uh, try to give you uh, some new ways of approaching and clinical reasoning uh, to help you. Physical therapy is not a, a one-way road. Uh, everyone has uh, their own uh, way. So, tell me yours. Thank you all for watching this video and don't forget uh, to always protect yourself and your patients. Until the next video, uh, goodbye and be well.